How's it going, smarty pants? As you can hear, I'm near the ocean. In fact, I'm at the docks looking for a boat to take us all out to sea. I just need to find a sea captain. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. It gets pretty foggy around here, huh? Uh Uh-huh. Landlubber, I see. Who are you, and what brings you to the docks? I'm the trusty narrator, and I'm looking for a boat to take me and my smarty pants friends out to sea. I see. Well, if it's a boat you seek, there's none better than my vessel, the Little Mermaid. Oh, so you're a sea captain. That's right. They call me Captain Queasy. I've been known to get a wee bit seasick. Well, Captain Queasy, I could use your help to get to the bottom of an ancient fish tail. Tail as in a story, not tail like the flappy thing at the end of a fish. Well, when it comes to fish tails, both varieties, Captain Queasy and the Little Mermaid is at your service. Wonderful. And this might seem like a crazy coincidence, but I'm actually looking to learn more about mermaids. Mermaids, you say? That's right. I want to know more about those half-human, half-fish, 100% awesome mythical creatures. Well, you're certainly not alone. Mermaids have captured the imagination of seafarers and landlubbers alike since the Stone Age. But when did the legends of mermaids first begin? Are they real or imagined? Has anyone ever seen one? And are all mermaids good or are some wicked? Oh, not just mermaids. I want to know about mermen and merfamilies, too, and any kind of merfolk. If it's merfolk you seek, just climb aboard, hoist the anchor, and pass me the Dramamine. Looks like it's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up! Everyone, we make smarting lots of fun on Who's Smarted? So, Captain Queasy, how long has there been talk about mermaids? Some 30,000 years ago, magical female figures first appeared in Paleolithic cave paintings. Since then, you can find mer people in all kinds of stuff. World mythology, folk tales, books, songs, on my favorite ankle tattoo... And in the movies. Yes, but according to the National Ocean Service, a real U.S. government agency, no evidence of aquatic humanoids, a.k.a. mermaids, has ever been found. Oh, yeah? Well, that same government agency also acknowledges that more than 80% of the ocean has yet to be discovered. There's a lot we don't know when it comes to the sea. See? Speaking of, it sure is wavy out here on the open sea. How you feeling, Captain Queasy? Truthfully, oh, the old sea has tumbled me tummy again. Any chance you could tell me a joke? A joke? My grandpa always said, laughter is the best medicine when you're feeling green around the gills. So quick, make me laugh before I toss my cookies. Yikes, smarty pants. You know any good jokes? Uh, preferably on theme about mermaids. <laughs> oh boy, let me think. Um, hey, I got one. What kind of phone does a mermaid use? I don't know. A shell phone. (laughs) Ha! Not bad. Here's another one. Why did the mermaid swim across the ocean? Uh, you got me. To get to the other tide. (laughs) Oh, you and your smarty friends done good. I feel much better. Thanks. So, Captain Queasy, is the stuff we know about mermaids real or made up? Well, we know so much about merfolk, or think we do because of all the stories and pictures that have been passed down since ancient times. Follow me to the poop deck, and I'll walk you through my Mermaid Hall of Fame. Whoa, who's that? One of the earliest mermaid legends from around 1000 BCE, the ancient Syrian goddess Atargetus. It's believed she dove into a lake to take the form of a fish. But the gods wouldn't allow her to give up her human beauty. So, only her bottom half turned into a fish. Holy mackerel! Aye, indeed. And this here is Yah, a merman who was the Babylonian god of the sea from some 4,000 years ago. 
Some believe he inspired the Greek god of the sea, Poseidon, and the Roman sea god, Neptune. Fantastic. Aye, and here we have some mermaids from the ancient Far East. They were thought to be the wives of powerful sea dragons and were trusted messengers between the dragon hubbies and the emperors on land. Are you squidding me? I squid you not. Now, behold, this is a drawing of the Yokiox, the mermaid legend of the aboriginal people of Australia. Yokiox aren't just half human, half fish. They can shapeshift and control the weather, too. Wow. So what you're saying is cultures from all around the world have been telling mermaid stories for thousands of years. Aye, aye. And sometimes the mermaids are nice. And sometimes they're... naughty. The Little Mermaid is nice. And I don't mean your boat. Yes, of course. Ariel from the Disney movie is quite charming. Did you know she's based on The Little Mermaid from Hans Christian Andersen's 1837 fairy tale? Oh, she's sweet as saltwater taffy, too. Those are the friendly mermaids. But... There are meanie mermaids, too, called sirens, who lay on the rocks and use their enchanting singing voices to lure sailors to their doom. Sailors, unable to resist the siren's call, wind up wrecking their ships on the rocks. And then the sirens drag them down to the murky sea. In the famous epic story, The Odyssey, the hero Odysseus tells his sailors to stuff wax in their ears so they won't hear the siren's song. Uh-oh. Is that a nice mermaid or a meanie mermaid? Does anyone have any wax? But wait, wait. Mermaids aren't real, right? Captain Queasy, has anyone ever seen a mermaid? As a matter of fact, Yes. A famous explorer reported he saw mermaids on one of his expeditions. Aye, let's see if your smarty pants friends can guess which explorer said he saw mermaids. Is it A, Marco? Hello. B, Christopher Columbus? C, Americo Vespucci, for whom North and South America are named? Or D, the Viking explorer Leif Erikson? Smarty Pants, do you know the answer? Put on your thinking caps. I mean, Smarty Hats. And we'll reveal the answer right after this short break. Now back to Who Smarted. So, Captain Queasy asked us, which explorer said he saw mermaids? Is it A, Marco, Hello, B, Christopher Columbus, C, Amerigo Vespucci, or D, Leif Erikson? I think I heard some of you Smarties say the correct answer. It's B. Christopher Columbus. Ah, <laughs> oh, listen, it's the seal of approval. So wait, Christopher Columbus said he saw mermaids? Aye. In 1493, Christopher Columbus was sailing near what is now the Dominican Republic, and he claimed he saw three mermaids. He wrote in his journal, They were not as beautiful as they are painted. Although, to some extent, uh, they have a human appearance in uh, the face. Not beautiful. Like Columbus was something to look at? Whoa, are you a, 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 a mermaid? My real name is... But you can call me Aqua. Hey, Queasy. Long time no seasick. Well, hello there, Aqua. My smarty pants friends were just asking about mermaid sightings, and I brought up Columbus. Columbus? Pfft. He's far from the only human who's caught a glimpse of merfolk. Facts. Columbus wasn't the only explorer who said he saw a mermaid. In 1608, the English explorer Henry Hudson wrote in his journal that sailors on the ship saw mermaids too. And Captain John Smith supposedly saw a mermaid in 1614. Although, some say his sighting was just made-up malarkey. Are you sure they saw mermaids? Maybe they just saw a big fish or a whale? Excuse me? No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Some believe what these explorers actually saw were manatees, or dugongs, which are both large aquatic mammals, also known as sea cows. <laughs> Sea cows? Whales? 
You guys sure know how to make a half girl feel special. Besides, how do you explain recent sightings of a half woman, half fish in Israel in 2009? And in 2012, some construction workers in Zimbabwe said they saw a mermaid while building a dam. People are still spotting mermaids? Absolutely. That's right. And we can tell you how you can see mermaids, too. Really? I want to see a mermaid. Do you want to learn how to see mermaids, smarty pants? Aye, but first, a little mermaid trivia game. Fooies and gulls, are you listening? Which famous company created a logo inspired by a mermaid? Is it Nike, McDonald's, or Starbucks? Got your answer? (laughs) That's right, smarties. The answer is Starbucks. The coffee company's name, Starbucks, comes from the classic seafaring novel Moby Dick by Herman Melville. The first mate in the book is called Starbuck, and the company's logo is a mermaid. Can I get a double latte, no seafoam? Your name? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just write fish person. So, Captain Queasy, how can we see mermaids? It might be a fluke to see a mermaid in the ocean, but you can definitely find them at one of the many mermaid festivals and competitions celebrating merfolk around the world. Queasy's right. In June, people dress up as mermaids and mermen to celebrate summer at the Coney Island Mermaid Parade in New York. Aye, and Wikiwachi Springs in Florida became famous for its underwater mermaid attraction. Performers wearing six-foot tails have enchanted audiences with a synchronized swimming act since 1947. But you don't have to leave home to celebrate mermaids. You can have your mermaid party right in your own backyard. Aye, and one of the best days to celebrate is March 29th, International Mermaid Day. Wow, Smarty Pants, maybe you can host your own mermaid party. Yay! Well, it looks like we're out of time. Good. Because I'm out of drama, mean. Oh, shouldn't have eaten those cookies. Everyone wave goodbye. A big shout out to our fans, Isabella and Olivia. Thanks for listening to Who Smarted in Peoria, Arizona. This episode, Mermaids, was written by Leanne French and voiced by Adam Tex Davis, Sophia Plitt, Max Kamaski, and Jerry Kolber. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Max Kamaski. The theme song is by Brian Suarez, with lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This is an Atomic Entertainment production.